G'day, it's Phil here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we have my 50 cent collection books here, already partly filled with the commemorative coins that we've found so far. We've got volume one and volume two. Volume one holds uh, the coins up until the Centenary of Federation series. And we're missing four of those there on the book. We are still missing the Ram's Head and the second Royal Visit. And in the second volume, we've got pretty much everything up until the 2017 uh, Marbo coin and the standard 2019 Jody Clark effigy. So let's put the books to the side. We're still uh, relatively new in the books and the Centenary Federation is obviously the hardest ones of those to find. So we're hopefully we'll be looking for Centenary Federations today and we'll, but otherwise we'll see what other coins we can find. That is the standard design of the 50 cent piece. That's the coat of arms. And I'll just be flicking through the reverses, just looking for the commemorative coins like this one. This is the 1982 Commonwealth Games Brisbane and I'll be laying them down common commemoratives at the top and keepers at the bottom we have a 2001 coin which could be a Centenary of Federation coin it is a Centenary of Federation coin but it's the 1912 Commonwealth coat of arms it's the highest minted of that series so it'll go off the top with the common commemoratives it's the uh, states and territories that we are looking for to find we have the 1998 Bass and Flinders, also a highly minted commemorative coin, and that'll go up on the top row. And then we'll continue to look through the coat of arms. And at the end of the hunt, I will look through all the coat of arms looking for years of low mintage, as well as uh, any errors that might occur on those coat of arm 50 cent pieces. So we'll get into that. When I look through the years, I'll be looking for 1986, 87, 89, 1990, 1992, and 2005, because the coat of arms for those years were not intended for circulation. They were only made for sets. And if I find one of those, it'll be a great find for the wider collection. Here we have the very first commemorative 50 cent piece, the Captain Cook coin from 1970. Also highly minted, so it'll go up on the top row. We'll continue on there's a bit of sticky tape on that and that's a uh brisbane commonwealth games from 1982 sticky tape on it here's a 2014 coin and we always look on the 2014 coin for a crop circle error doesn't seem to be it's there in amongst the reed there it looks like a bit of a, a ding it's not a an actual crop circle error oh here we go we have the Royal Visit, and this is one that we are looking for for the book because it has this one-off effigy of Queen Elizabeth II by the Royal Australian Mint designer Vladimir Gottfold. And it's not in too bad a condition either, so we'll have a look at putting that into the book, uh, either reverse or obverse face up, but it's definitely going to be a keeper for the book for today. And most of the time I would keep those if they're in good condition because of the one-off effigy status. We have the Remembrance coin. This is the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II from 2005. Also highly minted and will go up on the top row. We'll continue on looking through those new coins. And here we have the 1994 International Year of the Family those coins we look out for a wide date variety which there seems to be where the nine and the four and the 1994 are slightly bigger and slightly wider apart than the normal uh, date would, would usually be but it is a highly min uh, highly minted commemorative so it's going to go up on the top row but here we have a 1981 coin in really good condition this is going to be the charles and diana marriage coin a marriage of prince charles and lady diana spencer now king charles iii it is a highly minted coin, but this is in pretty good nick, and I'll be checking to see if that is a better uh, conditioned coin than the one we have in the book at the moment, and I'll be upgrading it if it is better than the one that we've currently got. And so that brings us on to our third roll, which after this third roll, I'm going to speed the hunt up a little bit uh, and just slow down for the new coins that we find in the hunt. But as we go through 
to be pulling out the commemorative coins like this one. We'll just be showing it. I've already uh, seen it before. We'll be just showing it and laying it down. Here's a, a 2022 coin. We always check the 2022 for a snake eyes die chip error. That one seems to be fine. Oh, here we have another coin that we haven't seen today. This is the changeover coin. This is the 50th anniversary of decimal currency. You can see there it has the coat of arms on it, which is the re uh, reverse, but the obverse is the side that has the commemorative design. And that's in pretty good nick, actually, this uh, changeover coin. So we'll put it up on the top row as a common commemorative, but when we go the end we'll check and see if that's better than the one in the book and we'll upgrade it and see how that goes here we have a coin from 2005 this is the secondary school student competition winner for a 50 cent piece design it was designed for the melbourne 2006 commonwealth games also highly minted and we'll go up on the top row and so we're nearly nearly done there there's another chain uh, centenary of federation from 2001 but the uh, coat of arms We've got something here. The last coin there in this roll is going to be to celebrate what's great, Australia's Day from 2010, celebrating Australia Day. That here, also highly minted, and we go up on the top row. So let's speed the hunt up now. And as I say, we'll only slow down and stop uh, if we find something new for today. We'll annotate it and lay it down, but otherwise, we'll keep on and see what else we can find for today. there for the first time today we see the silver jubilee coin silver jubilee of queen elizabeth ii in 1977 25 years of reign uh, 25 million of these minted so highly minted and they'll go up on the top row And there for the first time we see the 50th anniversary of the end of world war ii 1995 the weary dunlop coin weary dunlop being one of australia's war heroes and that is also highly minted and will go up on the top rows as well and then we have the year of the outback from 2002 got windmill on it uh, celebrating iconic image from the outback so highly minted and that will also go up
there for the first time today, we see the Millennium Year coin from the year 2000. In this particular coin, we look out for an incused flag variety with a cross in the center of the Union flag there on the Australian flag is incused into the coin. This one seems to be standard though and is highly minted, so it will go up on the top row as well. And there for the first time we see the 2003 Australia's Volunteers, celebrating Australia's volunteers of all shapes and sizes. And it was also a highly minted coin, so it'll go up on the top row. And that then brings us on to the last roll, very quickly on to the last roll, I might add. Nothing other than the uh, roll visit so far. Hopefully we get a little bit of last roll luck. We can pull something else out that we might need for the book. Another year of the family there. But doesn't look like it's going to be anything of particular note. There's another Silver Jubilee coin. Very nice condition. And that'll go down with the com common commemoratives. But that's pretty much it for today. Let me quickly go through all the other coat of arms and see if there's anything else of any note. I'll be back in a sec to tell you if I found anything. Well then, pretty happy with that hunt. Pulled out two coins that are of note. 2019 Jody Clark that's going to go into the book as a uh, standard effigy type but also we picked up a 2014 crop circle error one of the errors that we talk about there in amongst the reeds is the crop circle and I will very very smoothly see there is a circle in the center of that reed the flat space very nice it's an error, it's a die degradation. Very hard to find. I have found a little, uh, in the last little while, I have found a couple which is quite good, but generally they are quite hard to find. I think it, sometimes it can be a year between when I find one of those. So crop circle, as well as the royal visit, it's gonna go into the book. This uh, Charles and Die is better than the one in the book. So I'm gonna upgrade that in the book. So let's put, some of these coins to the side, these big piles, and we'll bring the book in, bring the first book in, the, uh, the Charles and Die, we will grab out Charles and Die that is in that book. Yeah, it's, it is in good nick, but it's not as good as the one that, that we did pick up today. It's a particularly nice Edition example of those, and we'll put that one in the book, clip it in, and then also, as I said uh, from the start, when I picked up the uh, Royal Visit, that side, the reverse side on this one is particularly nice, and the obverse side on that one is pretty okay too. So we'll put that one down there as the uh, obverse design, and we'll put this one down here as the reverse design. So we've got the Royal Visit there. Still looking for the Ram's Head and four of the Centenary of Federations on the, that first book. But then we will put in the standard design 2019 Jody Clark effigy. We'll put that one in the book there. 
Yep, there we go. And we'll take the crop circle error that we also found in today's hunt and we'll put that in the book. Put that in the book next to the low minted 2019 IRB effigy. Uh, and we'll have an error coin, the crop circle, in that book. So there we go. We've got a couple of extra uh, additions to the book there. Very, very nice in a pretty decent sort of hunt. Uh, filling slots up in the book. Very happy with that. But if you like what I do, please think about subscribing to the channel. Uh, let me know if you're finding those sort of coins in your hunts, especially the really good uh, condition older coins that you can upgrade your collection with. Love to hear about great high grade coins being found in circulation. It's very interesting. Uh, but otherwise, I'll be back for more noodling in a couple of days. So I'll see you then. Bye.